Finding wallet on Tap Tap Send. Step one: Click on Create Ghana CD Wallet below when you open the app. Step two: Enter amount of your choice in Ghana CDs. Step three: Click on the Confirm and Fund Wallet below to confirm. Step four: Your wallet has been successfully funded. Step five: Enter amount of your choice in Ghana CDs. Step 6. Select or add new recipient. Step 7. Choose wallet as payment method. Step 8. Click on the pay with wallet below to confirm. Step 9. Your transaction is successful. We are back again, seated to do the work of God here on Summiflex TV. This is Showbiz Daily. And the gentlemen are seated, three man squad as usual. Roland Amate is in the middle, and Tim Dodi Solomon is at the extreme end for us to do our thing. And when we do our thing like this, we do it with you. So we invite you to be part of the conversation, run your commentaries with us, and make sure that you are also part of the discussion anytime any day we are moving on straight to our first topic for the day but before let me say thanks to the team on this show digital rasta is called currency he is running our camera for us and richie flex is the editor director of the show tap tap send is an app that you can also get on your phone to send money from abroad you can get it now download it and uh, use the uh, Tap Tap Wallet, which helps you to convert your pounds into CDs. Anytime you want to spend money, just go straight to your wallet and you go there to spend in CDs. And again, parimatch.com, parimatch bet. You can also make money from soccer, betting, aviator, and more. Get it up today. That is parimatch and also download it. Now, make some money. Double your earnings. Aviator is available. You do the... Um, promo code SAM AV S A M A V and you are going to make some money. Ghana 15 Ghana cities free bet on Aviator. Now, really, I don't try and then cut away. Go to the new room. If you want to do sports betting, it is S A M S P. And if you want to be welcomed with 200% bonus, some 200. Uh, get it today and thank me later. I know you are going to make money. Of course, if you make money, I'm also going to make money. So thank you for being a part of this. But let's go into the conversation one after the other. Number one, I've come across a video of a lady who was captured advising Fela Makafui and Medical in their ongoing marriage confusion or marriage brouhaha as people will say it. When I listened to the lady talk, I said, well, it might be an open advice, which will come out as not the ideal way. But what she is saying, what do we make out of it? Chemo has been handling that department until some time. 
-hmm. So I said, because he's on the show, then let's get him and Roland's opinion on what the lady said. The truth and the lies and the facts in there before we move on to other matters. So let's watch exhibit number one from an unknown lady. Obviously, she looks like she lives abroad based on what she was wearing. I could get it right, wrong as well, but that is fine. I think the account, uh, the video was on was Atama Misho. Atama Misho. Yeah, yeah so okay. Yeah. Okay, Atama Misho. Yeah. Well, let's watch it. I'll be right back. Fela me kafui. E kawa sa man kamin ke bifise. E ya si wu husu obia. Fela me kafui. E kawa sa man kamin ke bifise. E ya si wu husu obia fuoshia. Na wa sensuwe si wudi ya mwe nka mi maini mi business. Mi sensuwe na diya si midi ya ufisa diya ke kakono. Obiya nye sefu wa brabo yimu. Obiya nye sefu wa wari yimu. Awari yimu nse. Awari yimu nse. Na mo me sansa wuye video si mtinu. Ena tama me nisi me kama wasa mne kakra. Misra u. Unu ya kumane me. Se unu ya penye nso ni miya. Asima me kano fane ni breso. Wenye tama. Wubabe provi usafu achere wubiya. We knew a beer in church, and we'll be here. We interview be as a would you when your baby start question the way you answered her. I respected you so much. And my many Jim, my new boy, my woman on a course row. But Miss Rout, dear, dear, may catch her. We wouldn't be back to us, so we're back to you in the minimum age. But as my make catch on, I said, Jai videos now, we're here in the Jai. Jai, and I beg you any mass. Jai saw videos now who prove yourself now who convocation now who post now who yeah you know cut it this is not the time for it so who feels a bear man who does so do not sister my catch them on rules they made the mama na munti eh so I say mumu me into me what film head you know be a mumu rules now me the mama bear man who don't know who qua can who to me can come and show who make me be a chum munti eh my soul yeah yeah me who when you say what's wrong when you say what's wrong. Who said them who could come as a moon quan who yammy name on the wompa? And who soon yammy name? And my bonty may hear video because and under every post now will be called a cyber bullying. The word they are bullying and bullying, and nobody's saying nothing nice. And this is our Ghanaians. This should tell you said they were expecting it. Or more predictable future marriage in the crown, San Ebigo. Now maybe so. Some medical say. Wa kwa tu wosa wani na danfu wa wani ni nche da enye da ko. E tu chen frema. E frema nungu ye ni mu wani ye ni musa en sandi ya woya adye kakra wu tu mifu ye gumu. E nudi ya mehunu wu several times wu video mu. Mehunu na wu ye tupsi. E nudi ya yati asye. Ne frema chen wane chira wun frema chen. E nyo anuwa. Wanu wane chira wane mache. Wapu wa waware na mejiri di wani mwusa nungu tu wani ni pia nyade. Mikuru di wani mwusa yin frema chen tu wani ni pia nyade. Chasa di wamu ye biwa pesa wu tkebi hui. Uko kebi hui asuna so de mwa usuwe nya asam. Wane chire. En frema chue nye pasu pasu nye deye. Ye di pasu pasu nye ye. En frema chue. En emi fame ni me disa ya ane bebe ni bra bre na mde na mwono. E ya bro so ne busu nye fwa mwa wwa. Mwonche gawa nye fri sa nye mwana woye ni mne en fanfa suwa biya mwa wama. Sabi wani be emane waba. Enti diya woye nye na ane da chakura ne babe hwe. Be me ye wanko guwe ni huwe ni mwa se. Wabe guwe ni mwa se. Yes. Wanko ya diye biya. Wun wansu wani na mabwante ye ye sa ane omane. Wati asye. Waye ni suma asye. Wame ye ne ni e ni suwa mwa biya. Vise o ni o biya ni nchile chile mwa. Mesra waba pa. You are too big for that. Na wu try sa wu ne omwa. Wu no mwa mengela chay. Wu wari ya wu no mwa mengel chay ya kwa ye ye. It doesn't matter. Ya hu yi ya faswe ni so. Chicha so. Concentrate you have a beautiful beautiful brand. Eh? Wu brand ne mwa du. E me ye we me gugu brand ne ni mwa sinfa we me chuchiri wu brand ne ni mwa. Come on. Concentrate on your work. Na on the background no. Sa wu fo sa wu da so do be emen. Medica se so nyang ware ye. Ka wu push you up. Push you push you. Na kwa ji wa adye ba. Opportunity ni wawana medika beye medika na. Nde ni beji ya no wandu de pu munu. E tu wapeso wa chame sebe sine ya muja ye. E tu wanfe wafe u. Bati ni njine mune se wafe u wano. Wabebi wabebi oti eti ya so. E tu wama mfowa de mema uhu. E dia wabeka e bibi. E dia nipa nini bibi. Nipa na adie bibi. Wahu. Na beye ye video wei. Na de ye first of all. E ye friend say. Nipa anu bro. Ni adi ya no bro, wongu e pe wada dano, ni ye nyao, komen se shi nasi ni yoro still. What shall it profit you? 
Well, mm -hmm. so um, what's the first Atama? Atama, Atama, me on some firing spree. Chabu, this is your area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's see how best yeah. we can do a topic. Well, quick, yeah, quick. yeah, this is interesting. Um, but yeah, I, I think I agree with her. Okay. Like she, she, she was giving a very sound advice mm. that I mean, experienced woman like her, mm -hmm. if. Her name is anything to go by. I think she has twins. Mm, mm, mm. I want to have a lot of the Yes. 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 Okay. Especially this one in particular. I think mm. I've not seen her do other videos, but I think this one it sounds okay for me, or it sounds good that I think uh, women should pick something from this. Especially mm. coming from somebody with experience, mm. she she should learn from it. Um, it it's simple and and straightforward as well as she said. You don't need to prove yourself to anybody, whether you are happy or you are not happy. You you don't have to, especially. On social media because what you are doing now trying to prove yourself will just give you out you, you in your quest to prove yourself that you are happy nothing is happening and all that you'll be making a lot of mistakes that you may not be able to go back mm -hmm. so if you, indeed you you are happy or you are not happy don't come and show it in a way just for people to know that you are there or something like that no there's no need for that. Again, that thing that you are showing just to prove that you are happy, it will go against you in the near future. Mm -hmm. Not only uh, maybe in the med medical side, uh, even in the side of those who may also be interested in you. In fact, when you watch the video longer than what we have watched here, the lady said that, it will get to a point the other men who are interested in you just will start uh, coming to test whether you what medical <laughs> they mm -hmm. can also experience same yeah so you are giving yourself away and when it gets to that point there is no uh, turning back like that will be the end of you as in the way you want to carry yourself the way people see you uh, 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 you will not get back again uh, the lady said your brand I'm mm -hmm. not, I will not use the word uh, her brand, but yes, that's what will happen. People will see you in a way that you may be, uh, they have a term for them. Not, the, you belong to the street is a strong one, but they have other, you have, you are, you will only be useful for recreational purpose. <laughs> that's the word. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So so mm. she should mm. be careful. Mm. I mean, some marriages may not work, we know that. But after that the your actions or reactions after that will also go a long way to affect you, mm -hmm. either positively or negatively. Mm -hmm. So I I will side with the lady and tell fella to be careful the way she's behaving now on social media especially. Mm, mm. Even if you know you are no more there with uh, medical or you don't plan of going back, mm -hmm. fine, it's your life. But be careful the way you portray yourself now mm. so that it will not affect you in the very near future. Mm. Not that it will take long for you to see the effect. Mm. Uh, even divorcing medical alone is a huge flag that will push some people away. Yeah. And then uh, because if like somebody gets interested in you and they marry you, wherever that you go or wherever you go with that person, they will mention medical's name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, most men will not be happy about that. But if you stay calm, if you stay cool in your corner, that kind of thing may reduce. But now that you are reacting based on the divorce, it will still be in people's face, people's head. And it will carry on like it will be with you, and mm. it will not be good for her future. So me, I, I I will go with the lady and tell her to slow down on social media, okay. especially. Okay, Ro, mm. come through. Uh, um, mm -hmm. okay. There's some terms be in the Pentecost Church that mostly the women fellowship say. 
-hmm. when they shout wife, mm -hmm. then they will respond, wonderful instrument for enjoyment. Mm. 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 Wife, <laughs> wonderful, wonderful instrument, instrument for enjoyment. <laughs> <laughs> For recreational purpose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> well, to to a large extent, the woman is right. If not for anything at all, she has an experience to a certain level. Okay. That is not to say her life is applicable to Fela McAfee's life. Mm -hmm. But definitely because this is an institution that she obviously has tasted if not directly probably indirectly she probably has some level of experience even per her associations can even guide her into giving some of these advice mm. and again in times like this what both parties tend to lose are definitely not the same i mean what the man would lose and what the woman would lose are definitely not, not the, the same. same okay and to some in in socially the woman tend to lose more mm -hmm. than the man. Mm -hmm. That is what some mostly happens. Mm. Because when it comes to, okay, let's take something like um, in, in when they separate and it's, it is about, okay, let's move on. Who are you going for? The man is likely to get more suitors than the woman. Okay. Because to the man, it is a form of superiority. It is a form of the fact that, okay, He's been, he has some level of experience, but that cannot be said to the woman, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Even though to the woman, it is also another form of experience, though, but to the woman, it is turned the other way around as a deficiency more than an experience. Exactly. Okay. And, and that is the situation. So sometimes, if, if you listen carefully to what the woman was saying, she, she was really advising that, yes, Sometimes, yeah, it, it may be that you know what you want, which is mm -hmm. why sometimes you would want mm -hmm. to take a decision to move out of the relationship or the marriage. But upon careful consideration, mm. even into the things that you are likely to lose in the future or the difficulty sometimes you are even likely to face moving forward, okay. it would have been even been better mm. for you to find a way around whatever the situation is. And sometimes so many women have that option okay most of the time so many women hold the key to move around whatever situation that is happening they yes okay. they are facing in order for them to still keep their relationship mm. Mm. and unfortunately most of them are being influenced by certain conversations outside which probably may not be necessary in their current situation yeah. but then they tend to stand on to take certain decisions Recently, when you hear even the recent antenna, mm, it will interest you to know that so many people are being influenced by some of these things. I see. So many people. Then that one self is the informal side. The mm. formal side has to do with the feminism, the single mother culture, all those things. And all these things can, can affect and some the feeling of contentment by ex many exactly, ladies. Exactly. Uh, uh, but Women of Balai is a part. Women of Balai. <laughs> that one we... Oh, uh, Jebo. Don't go there. Don't go there. Yeah, we have enough. Wait, I will go and check. I will <laughs> investigate for you. Don't <laughs> worry. So, yes, yeah, some of these things tend to influence so many people mm -hmm. in their individual relationship for them to take some of these decisions. And the long and short is that, yes, if you take about 10 women who would want to take some of these decisions, it is just about two or one that will probably be able to stand mm -hmm. or be comfortable afterwards. The rest, oh, a pains in Kwan, pains of which some of them even regret and would wish, say, their situations were not as probably moving forward it, it is going to become. Well, um, we wish them well, like I keep saying on this platform. Um, there's not something you would even wish for your enemy for things to go that bad in a marriage or in a relationship you would wish that en every beautiful relationship will last longer but unfortunately this is their portion at the moment and we can only wish them well now let's move on i'm an interviewer and anytime i'm about to interview someone there are so many things i do or there are some things i consider in me 
one of the things is I look at a person's intellect, I look at a person's age, I look at uh, what knowledge or exposure the person has before I am able to even know what question I have to put to the lady, uh, to the person. Uh, I've seen this interview and watching the interview, I felt no, um, the, the presenter could have done justice knowing that he was interviewing a minor. That is how I feel. I don't know about you, I don't know about my people. Reason I'm bringing this here for other opinions to be part of this. I watched the interview and I felt like, okay, knowing he's a minor, there are some questions you don't even go there. And I would want us to um, watch this to see if my people would also think similar or differently from what I saw in this. Let's watch it. When I come back, we will continue talking. Stay tuned. Is it, is it okay? Masumu Timiye. You said a certain girl saw you singing. Mm -hmm. is, it, is it okay? Masumu Timiye. You said a certain girl saw you singing. Mm -hmm. You. Yeah. Which girl? Nakiat. Who? Nakiat. You go you singing. On the my Yes. You know. Yeah. Huh? No, no, she's not the one that. Like she's not the reason why I'm singing. The reason is what I'm asking. The reason I'm singing is because I have passion for music. That's yes. why I'm singing. Yes, but the, a certain girl got girl, you, you singing. singing. Yo, you got me singing. Ah. Uh, Nakiat, yes. Nakiat? Yes. How? How? Eh, then Nakiat in the mouth. But in the video, she's the one that helps me. But you did a song before the video. Yes. So, who was the person you were singing about in the song before the video? The same person. Nakiat. It was the old trim and then I keep it in the old trim. No, when did I know what trim? No, we wanted the song to talk about friendship, not the way you are thinking. How do you know what? <laughs> <laughs> How do you know what the way I'm thinking? No, you are thinking in a certain way. Which way? Like you are thinking in like the, the song is a love song, but the song is actually talking about friendship. That's why the song is titled Best Friend. Hey, what did you say? Ten years. Ten? Yes. In fact, I was listening to the song and I was thinking you were singing about a certain girl who is your best friend. Yes. And she's the one that has got you singing. Yes. That's what I was thinking. But in actual sense, what person said, you were just making a general. Yes. Lyrical content. Say the bear be fifteen to be a journey. It's me penny crown and made to a me pesa me de yeno. A me a masama. It's me a be a certain girl got me singing. A woa quadani de is just a friend as some now. Yes, you see, anyways, so that was the interview. It happened on. Nit FM, Ola Michael versus um, Photocopy. Photocopy has released a new song called True Friend. And no, I think it's Friend rather, Friends or something like that. Friends, eh? Okay. And as it stands now, uh, media promo and watching this interview, I felt like, no, uh, minor. Know what questions, know what conversation to have with him. I don't know what you people think, though, Ro. Well. I think the interviewer had something he wanted to achieve mm -hmm. and in achieving that objective um, that consideration was out of the equation mm -hmm. the consideration out of the fact that okay this is a minor is this person's thinking capacity up to that level mm -hmm. or whatsoever was out of the decision for the interviewer Okay. And again, uh, there are so many factors that would make him not consider some of these things. Mm -hmm. One has to do with the fact that they can say, okay, Akola and Shedi say. And best friend. Oh, okay. best friend. Okay, best friend. Uh-huh. Obe ti miyaka say, oh, Akola and Shedi say. So when he also listens to the wording or some of the lyrics in the song, mm -hmm. he would probably assume that okay the child knows what he was singing about okay and i like how smart photocopy also was to be able to maneuver his way around 
the uh, Ola Michael's questions. Okay. Because yes, he could have displayed his ignorance there as a child. Mm -hmm. Because yes, the wording of the song and the questions that um, Ola Michael was asking him, he, he was in the right direction though, because he was referring to the wording of the song. Mm -hmm. But the child also played smart to take himself out of that particular scenario mm. that that is not what what we wanted to portray is not what you are thinking mm. besides this is a poetry piece and in a poetry piece it has so many meanings okay there's a literal meaning so, so so leading the boy on to even think a certain way was it appropriate even leading the boy on because mm -hmm. it was the questions mm -hmm. that led the boy on to think oh, it is not what you are thinking mm -hmm. That's, that's what I'm saying. There are two things. It is either he wants to a achieve a certain objective. And in achieving that, he needs to cross that line. Mm. To achieve that. Because if, like you, maybe you are you would overthink and say, hey, is he up to pay his, his mind up to that level? If I ask him A, B, C, D, would I be leading him on? You mm -hmm. see these questions. You would have to consider them before you throw certain questions at, at him. And if you do that, the objective that Ola Michael wanted to achieve, you will not get it. Mm. Because at the end of the day, these questions will block you, the interviewer, from throwing that question to mm. the child. Mm. And I'm sure that is the professional As, way of handling exactly. all these things. Handling and be, minors. And because he, he wanted to achieve something, there was something he wanted to achieve by that question. Considering all those questions as to whether he is up to that standard, would I be leading him on? he leading him on would i be professional in asking him all these questions he had to cancel all those things away mm. if not he wouldn't be able to ask him that question and again the other one will also be that if he's he's been exposed to sing this kind of lyrics then the interviewer can also assume that okay maybe his thinking capacity has also gotten there because he so go on tiktok right now and you see certain tutelage that or uh, certain training that some parents are giving to their children mm. not long ago we saw some of them it was almost became uh, becoming a trend when some kids were seen insulting saying some adult words mm -hmm. on the internet mm. so in that sense some of these interviewers would assume that perhaps this is one of those kids mm -hmm. and would want to go that tangent with him so yeah it is because me i see it as he wanted to achieve something or maybe he was assuming photocopy was one of those kids that maybe he doesn't have a proper training and would be thinking that way even as at this age mm -hmm. but then i i would also applaud the young chap on how he was able to also think smart on his feet to know that okay I am, even though he can lead me on to this particular side, I am not supposed to go there. Okay. I am even so, even if I know what he is talking about, I I am supposed to pretend I don't know. Mm. Which is why he was very blunt to say what we wanted to portray is not what we are thinking, because at the end of the day, this is a poetry piece. There is the literal meaning, there is the hidden meaning, and whatever anybody can use out of it. Mm -hmm. It happens every day when musicians release records and sometimes people give different interpretation and it also makes sense to that same record exactly. so yes he's he was smart on that score to know that okay the guy has this direction but let me also state it on record that that's not the direction i the author of that particular project to wants to go and that is also fine but that is not to say that okay his direction is also bad if it were to be an adult that direction would have stand and it would have been the norm but then because there is a child i i i pray that he gets this these uh, this kind of training moving forward so that he would also be he would always be smart as in the artist as in the artist okay. he would get this this kind of training periodically so that he would always be smart because now with the nature of the media and the things they always want to achieve when they get some of these personalities mm -hmm. It is unpredictable. It is not everybody that is going by the book now. So if you don't train yourself as as maybe an interviewee before you go and sit in front of certain people, they will just find problem for you. And before you realize, the problem might be coming from you and the source will be from them.
I see. Chamo, what do you also make of the interview? Well, I, I think he could have done better or mm -hmm. used a different approach. Just mm. that, yes, this is his approach and uh, people will have issues with it. But the thing is, that's how he's been doing his thing. So, we should allow. allow. Mm -hmm. Just that I, I, I got that sense that he wants to trick the child. Mm -hmm. You see, when, uh, let's say, if it's no, uh, he's not a minor, he's mm -hmm. a grown-up, an doing an adult, doing an interview, then we, we will all say that it's a fair question. But it's a fair question in a way that is also tricky. Mm -hmm. How they do this or why they do this is, they know that you will pretend that that's not what you are talking about. Mm -hmm. So they try to put it in a way for you to either mistakenly admit it or say something for them to say, uh -huh. now you are, uh -huh. and he is using the same standard for the minor. Mm. Mm. That's where it's an issue. Mm. Because if it was an adult, you know that this thing that I'm going to say, he is going to give different interpretation to the way I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. But when you are dealing with minor, you have to go straight to the point. Yeah. You, you, you could have asked were you thinking about your somebody as your girlfriend or what what were you trying to say mm -hmm. then the child will say oh it's about my friend i'm thinking about then that would be straightforward mm. but you, you it, it looks like you were thinking about girl b girl b mm. what was that girl like mm. Mm. you are trying to mm. trick him or something like that but mm. he's a minor so even if you trick him and he goes your direction later they can come back and say, oh, that, that wasn't the thing. Mm. It's because of mm. your direction. That's yeah. why the minor was And then you, you wouldn't even have achieved anything. anything. Everybody will know his level, a level of, of uh, th yes, thinking and maturity. Yes. So I think it's, it's fair when you are doing an interview. But for me, I think he could have done better. Okay. For it to look like, yes, you are talking to minor. And mm -hmm. this is how the mm. conversation is supposed mm. to go. It, mm. it shouldn't be like... But the questions were under. not to yes. a minor. Yes. It's like, that's his style. So he didn't consider the child. Mm. It's like, this is the way I do my things and I will still do it the same way, regardless of whether you are a minor or not. So for me, I think he could have done better. But if this is his style, let's, let's allow him to also function. Well, um, that is what my people are saying. I'm not comfortable with mm. the interview skills personally, knowing there was a minor involved, but life goes on everybody in his style so if that is the style he wants to do i'm sure we, c we might not be able to say much let's move yeah. on now why do you think people will be lambasting american gospel star kirk franklin after his performance in jamaica now uh, richie you can bring the video uh, the way he's being bashed the way social media is hitting him hard 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 and when you ask why are you people hitting him harder they say ah how did he dress like this on the stage like with his level of um, um, popularity and all that, how can you perform on a stage looking like this? So there are some people who have argued that, oh, maybe the place was even hot. He couldn't stand the hot temperature, so he decided to just go normal. Some people are even arguing, maybe it was even a street show, a street gospel show. And I think it looks like, uh, if I'm not seeing a roof there or something, it looks like like a street gospel show and sometimes when you want to look like the people so they can come to you you decide to go a certain way Charlie social media says Ahenehi. now okay Franklin with all your fame and popularity and how big you are you dress like this on a stage in fact almost said why is that coming it was looking like a pop Oh, hey, Charlie. <laughs> so what I what I what was that the new one about? Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, the new one about. Yeah. Oh, is it pensioner? What I said to you. What is pensioner? Ah, actually, I'm back in. And the definition of pensioner is crying money every day close. But that's not the topic anyway. Let's well, we'll talk about we'll that. We'll talk about that mm -hmm. later, yeah. So I, I want everybody to say, oh, sometimes people should take it slow. Well, he might not look what you expected. But for you, there could be a reason behind his looks. Obviously, there be. Woto, woto, woto season. Yo. <laughs> Do you also see something wrong here? Well, I don't see anything wrong with it. 
I don't see anything wrong with it. Besides, um, the nature <laughs> of the show. This is an experienced musician who has graced lots of stages. So I am not sure he will just appear anyhow, anyhow on any stage. Mm. He is appearing this because there is something he wants to achieve. Mm. There is some message he wants to send. People dress in a certain way also to send a message. Fashion is also part of the art industry. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it is not only about how flashy the person looks. It is about the message the person also wants to send with the the art that they want to give out mm -hmm. and also the nature of the platform that they are on mm -hmm. there are certain platforms that he can't appear like this and we all know he's not this is not his usual appearance yeah so if he is appearing like this then it means there are so many things that he has considered mm. before appearing like this mm. of which even the audience and they are caliber or their nature is one of them they would applaud yeah exactly there are certain th ways that musicians would want some form of relatability where they even choose their appearance to send that message mm -hmm. some would even try to create a certain playlist in order to capture the attention of the audience mm -hmm. some people would also want to dress in a certain way to capture the attention of the audience mm -hmm. depending on the type of event that they are going and, they and even when you look at the audience very well when the camera went on the audience you can clearly see this is one youthful mm -hmm. two this is street mm. and this is just a casual kind of event so him wearing suit and tie on this stage actually would have even shocked me the more mm. looking at mm. the nature of the audience mm. would have even shocked me and also the weather condition is also could also be another factor so yes, in, in that sense, I, I don't see anything wrong with his appearance. He was looking very smart and very simple for me. Mm. And I know definitely this can also win certain people for them to be able to relate with the brand Kirk Flank, uh, Franklin. Franklin. Because okay. yes, in that sense, so many people have certain perception about certain musicians mm -hmm. i tell you some people may love a certain uh, a certain musician not because of probably their songs but okay. because oh he once looked like me mm -hmm. he once looked like the way i would look he mm. once wore certain dresses that i would wear yeah. so i can relate or i think he can relate with me on that score mm. so i like him for that mm. this is somebody that is sending a message and in sending a message sometimes he needs to go the extra to capture the people's attention before he can the message can sink in yeah. and even if it means him looking this way quote and unquote he will. he will this is somebody that is experienced with whatever stages that he's mounted so he i, I am not sure he will just come looking like this because he has nothing to wear in his wardrobe no <laughs> but because there is something that he wanted to achieve and i believe the talkability around it and the commentaries around it he's achieving it well Chavo, what, what do you also yeah. think about the looks well, and the attacks well i'm not surprised that people will be attacking uh, for the simple reason that this is not his usual look mm -hmm. so if he is looking different obviously some people who, who attach have issues more, with it. yes who attach more importance to his dressing or mm -hmm. how he appears will have issues with it mm -hmm. so i'm not surprised that that is some something like that is coming out but uh, i don't see anything wrong with his looks mm -hmm. he's performing a show and this is how he wants to appear on stage mm -hmm. and for whatever reason he discussed it with the team of and course. they agreed that this is okay to go Okay. So if you want the song, come and enjoy the song. If you were looking for a fashion, then uh, I'm sorry, you you didn't get it. Yes, mm -hmm. next time maybe he will be in a suit for you to also be happy. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't see anything wrong with it, but I'm not surprised that people will be acting. Like at him. Uh, yes, especially if this is not your usual look. People will obviously find reasons to not be happy with you, but mm -hmm. you see. Even generally in our lives, we know that the people who dress shepe
things. Mm -hmm. I mean, so I think the the issue is um, King Franklin saw nothing wrong with his dressing, and then he he just did his thing. And for that reason, me I, I'll go with him. Mm -hmm. uh, but I will not, I'm not surprised that some people are not happy because this is not the usual way that they are seeing you. As Roland said, some people may even be uh, in love with you or they love your thing because of your dressing. Yeah. And now look at the kind of dressing that you are bringing them. They, they won't be happy. Mm. They will rather um, look. Uh, they will rather look. Uh, want to see you, see you in the that sh sharp dress shiny, that they shiny. wear. You for mm -hmm. so if you do something that they are not expecting, they will obviously talk. But I think if he continues to dress like this, people will get used to it and he will be okay. Changing your looks is not an easy thing, yeah. you really go through certain things before, before you be accepted. Before you be accepted, mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. in our little uh, things that we do mm -hmm. here. When you change your looks, people start yeah. <laughs> In fact, talking. They, they've still not stopped talking about my shit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but now, some people are getting used to it. Oh, they so, will. so the comment about your shades, it mm -hmm. has reduced. Mm -hmm. Compared mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. the beginning to now. Mm -hmm. Like when you started doing it, mm -hmm. they were complaining so much. But mm -hmm. now, it has reduced. Some people are still not used to mm -hmm. it, but they, they will come around anyway. So <laughs> the same thing is happening to King Franklin, and mm -hmm. I think he will be okay. Mm, well, uh, I know how sometimes critics do it. Uh, some people will even take this World Cup and mm. go overboard and say mm. so many things yeah, that yeah. they are not even supposed to say yeah. uh, after someone's choice. Yeah, yeah. Someone's <laughs> choice. <laughs> well, that, that's what I feel I'm, I'll be comfortable with. Then and it's not illegal. That be and it's only on TSA. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is not as if the person can just register her dislike yeah, or his yeah. dislike. Or he will attack you or insult you. Yes. <laughs> for making a choice. Yes. Uh, yeah. That is for not affecting. Ah. Mm. Uh, so, mm. The world we live in and how some mm. people understand some things. Eh? Sometimes it's sickening. Let's do the very last story that we can run away from here. It's about T Flow. Rapper T Flow. In fact, he has been one of Ghana's top rappers uh, during his reign. Anytime you talk about rappers with punchlines, everybody will mess you with T-Flow, 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 T-Flow. And indeed, he did his job. He did, he did his part. He is now living in abroad. After music, trial, 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 and still not seeing the success line, he decided to jack back. And as it stands now, he's domiciled in America, feeling very comfortable, eating and talking. Can you cry the show? Eating and talking. Mm. And one thing that he has said that has become topical is the fact that T Flow thinks if you are popular as a musician in Ghana and you don't have money, you are better off dropping the music, flying to elsewhere to survive, mm. and you not being popular again. Like the way he's enjoying his life there. Mm. So he'll be in Ghana and everywhere he goes, T Flow, T Flow. In fact, he has some song. A press release or something, something like that, where he talked about some of these things. Also, be punchy, punchy, punchy. <laughs> you know what I mean, punchy. <laughs> and he was talking about some of the ills in the industry and how artists are suffering. So this time around, he was in a live video talking about how, as a popular person, it has to be um, attached with money. In fact, if you are popular, you have to attach some money to it. And he is not happy that people are even making mockery of the fact that he dropped music to go look for survival. Let's close on this. Uh, oh, your reaction to this? Oh, I think we will have to watch the video. Mm. Yes, let's watch the video and um, when we come back, we'll be running away from here. But when artists make steady, small, they go find money, then you people say, if you have to find money. But when artists make steady, small they go find money then you people say he fell off yes i would rather fall off and find money than to sit down and let you give me fans and be broke the worst you can be in this life is to be famous and broke and i will not succumb to that you know charlie this thing way we they do you see the worst thing you want to experience is for you to grow old and have to have people soliciting fans for you 
because you be former celebrity way do not let that happen to you ten thousand times one thing that has become like a major concern here is what's a ghana artist nefi ghana you know if you do music bro they are lying don't listen to them do not listen to them you see when a generation eh, especially where we come from them box we in then they limit we in so many ways small small oh man you know we say yeah we say sometimes you know be them are for safe it's been passed on from generations and generations and generations. So you know be them my fault. Me, I know they blame anybody. You will hear bloggers. Hey. You will hear bloggers. They talk about what's in there. Recently, I hear someone. You pay me a hammer. You talk with see after you matter. They say good days from side. Then, then bring me self. My name come inside. And I think it was DJ Slim. Which is completely fine because he is also basing on historical data that most often if you are if you are out of touch from Ghanaians and by out of touch from Ghanaians they mean if you are not in the country you will not be able to successfully put your weight into the music industry for it to blossom how you want it to blossom which is fine but all this be years and years and years of programming this is like somebody telling you that don't push yourself to grow further don't do anything else stay for your comfort zone and and, and strive for your comfort zone do not listen to any of that and i'm saying this for anybody who get talent anybody who get any kind of business anybody who get any kind of project where they hope say it go push them and make money through them don't let anybody lie to you like that. Because the truth is, most people are not ready to invest in you. But when you now, you go out there to go find your own investment, that one to them with the complain, say, what's it? What's it? I can say, baby. I look more hard. I know they understand. Like, you, you not go invest in me. Me now, too, they go find money, come invest in my body too. You, they complain. So, what make I do? Make I just day Ghana as a graduate from KNUST with a degree in quantity surveying and construction economics. Make I limit myself to just music when my parents have paid money to take me to school aside my talent. In case your, your, your parents then take you go school, then give you all this resources to say in case your talent is not giving it's not bringing you the kind of funds you you need to be able to survive at the moment you have education you have brain you have intellect to be able to go spoil there from another side do not limit yourself bro <coughs> do not limit yourself because of these rumors or these twisted mindset then with the hold for ghana these same ghanaians be the ones where if you give them the quickest opportunity they will praise nigerians over you give any ghanaian any opportunity to talk about african music if you don't talk about nigerians then rapper t flow doing his 18 talking <laughs> Eat that talk. uh what what is happening to uh, uh, flo, uh, t flow are you ready yeah in fact t Flow is in a different dimension. Mm. He's in a different dimension. Not fit. No, no, not fit. <laughs> in fact, he, where he is, there he's even past the fit. I uh, see. He's past the fit. You know, you you need some level of comfort to speak the way he's speaking. And so far, I can say that he's man, yes, that he's he's enjoying that comfort. Mm. There are so many things that he raised in his conversation with regards to you doing music outside ghana or outside the jurisdiction that probably people know you of or from whichever way that particular conversation has its pros and cons depending on who is doing the music what type of music the person is doing how talented 
even the person is the kind of resources available to the person mm. that conversation has different factors when you want to touch that one but the one that is very common in his statement has to do with survival mm -hmm. what are you doing this particular job for if it is about your survival if it is about you making sure you are getting money if money is your goal then the moment you realize that it is not working find something and do and that doesn't make you a failure no you can do music as a side hustle and another thing may be your main hustle mm -hmm. just like you can do music as your main hustle mm -hmm. and open a different in a different branch in a different industry as your side hustle but unfortunately some people are drowned in certain people's conversations assumptions and imaginations leaving what they actually want mm. so at the end of the day it is because certain people are making certain commentaries that if you don't play shows outside if you don't win this if you don't do this then you have failed meanwhile if we are to sit you down and ask you what you want the watcher that he is eating would have satisfied you mm -hmm. and you wouldn't have been depressed in any way but because you've lost touch of what you actually want now your your level of success is in somebody's head it's, it's in somebody's commentaries that oh i need to do this i need to do that to the extent that some people are doing music as a side hustle outside ghana and they are okay mm -hmm. they are okay but unfortunately because of certain commentaries from other people that are eating into their head they will abandon the thing that is actually making them okay to come and chase what they can't even what can't even make them okay mm. because they think somebody is doing it and is successful so they can also do yes you can but it's that is not the case it is not applicable to everybody the car that somebody is winning awards with is the same car that killed somebody on the first day he bought the car <laughs> yeah so it's not applicable to everybody so me i like the dimension he's in i mean he has admitted that he's and you see let's not people take this as failure in music no or failure in that particular field that he decided to maybe branch or put it on a pause or maybe put it on a low to pursue other things no that doesn't mean failure he needs to be okay and if he, if he is not okay what you want him to do even with the talent or with the music that you want him to do he will never be successful if mm. he is not okay mm. so yes this is a huge advice especially to the young ones they're especially the ones that are now crying that they've been used and down it is because they are leaving their visions in people's head they are leaving whatever they want to ha achieve in people's commentaries so they are always not satisfied so the people will tell them go here then they will go sit down then they will sit down sign this then they will sign forgetting what they actually want so it's for for t flow's conversation here is very broad like i said the other one that he spoke about the fact that okay certain people are making or painting a certain picture that when you do music here and you relocate to a different jurisdiction you can't do music and all that like i said of which he cited the dj slim conversation of the kwesiata and himself that conversation has so many factors mm -hmm some people can say that and they will be right depending on the factors available to, or the information available to them mm -hmm. and the examples they would want to use mm. that and they may be right there are certain examples that they can get to buttress their point but that doesn't mean that it is also applicable to you so if you think that looking at the resources but you have number brothers first it, they were in germany mm -hmm. yeah. and they relocated so one relocated to ghana the other was moving back and forth and they are successful they are successful that's what i'm saying it's it is dependent on the the talents that you have as the artist the type of music you're doing the even the resources even the support system yes you have around you. exactly and yeah. even the resources available to you some people are talented they are doing the music that some people may want but they, they don't have the resources 
to push whatever they want to push. Mm. But some people do. And the Lumba brothers that you mentioned, it's because they've been able to do it. They are talented. They had the resources to push it, which is why they've been successful at it. So yes, for that conversation, it has its pros and cons. But the general picture of whatever he was trying to paint is look for your survival first. Seek your survival. Seek what will make you comfortable. That is the first thing. And all other things shall come to you. Well, wow, Chamo come through. Yeah, I think I, I I agree with him to some extent. Because nah. they are not fully. Why not fully is because the reverse is also true. Mm -hmm. There are some people who decided to stop music, go and look for greener pastures elsewhere. It didn't help them. Mm -hmm. They came back to music and they succeeded. And there are some people who are doing whatever is not working instead of them leaving the music and then try something else they want they will do the music ah, to whatever Chum. before they before they realize <laughs> they, 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 they <laughs> oh that's <laughs> underground music <laughs> so so it's like that so the, where where i agree with him is to know that it's not only music that will uh, make you survive especially if you see that or you are seeing that it is not going the way you want it to go okay it should give you a signal that maybe you have to try something else mm -hmm. and then he did and looking at the video and the way he's happy talking and even eating, eating he's so satisfied with the way he very is very comfy yes, yes. Mm -hmm. very comfortable with the whatever that he has done in his life now so that is it. I mean, I, I can use Ochami Kwame's example. Ochami said he went abroad after getting all the hits, but he still wanted to do something else. So mm -hmm. he went outside, tried working, even became a security guy at some point, mm -hmm. doing cleaning and all that. One day he realized that, no, this is not my thing. Let me go back to Ghana and try again. And then he came back and he got all the hits. He is so charming that he is okay that we yeah. all know now. Yeah. So that is it. For him, it worked. Some people also stopped the music, went abroad, and they succeeded. Like the way uh, uh, this guy is feeling, T Flow is feeling right now. So it's about knowing that this is not working. Let me try something else. And then seeing the results that you get. So for me, I think, yes. Uh, the general principle is that don't just be fixated on one thing even if it is not working. Mm -hmm. Try something else. Sure. Yes. Maybe that the, the, ne the next thing that you try work will work out. For, yes. Yeah. And that's the, the import of the message, the way I get it. Like, uh, music wasn't doing it for him. So he tried uh, working or doing something else and even making music maybe a part-time thing for him. Mm hmm and mm -hmm. he's okay so what else this is what we are all looking for so don't just be fixated on one thing uh, or else you, you would rather be the losing one if it is not working move on if it mm. is working then you do your best to maintain it that's how the world is supposed to be mm. well at the moment for t flow there he's mm. chilling yeah and um we pray that he continues to enjoy life the way he's enjoying it but let nobody put pressure on you mm -hmm. pressure. when you come and you do the music for them to chill and mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. in fact that is why to some people it is working for the manifest yeah. and that is what the flow is saying for survival first, mm -hmm. fame me mm -hmm. now yeah, the jobs, you know, they make the money, bro. Mm -hmm. Else you go broke. Mm -hmm. Learn that and you be peaceful with your life. Thank you, Roland Amate from Shatter Movement Empire Roland Report, as well as Shagzi and to Team Dodo Solomon, online manager here at Flex Entertainment Limited, and in Team Dosu Digital Solutions, and to the production crew, Digital Rasta Court Currency.
who did camera for us, Richie Flex, did ed he is the editor and director of the show. My name is Sammy Flex. Special thanks to Tap Tap Send Money Transfer app that everybody needs on their phone. And Parry Match Bet, Parry Match GH. You can also make money with betting. Download and thank me later. Subscribe to us if you've not done that. And remember, here we talk about the real issues devoid of any pettiness. Facts only. I'll see you in the next video when we see you. Bye bye.